Let's go from those uh, flying cars or boats to an electronic powered plane. The future of the car industry is increasingly, we know we talk about it a lot, electric, but what about aviation? Earlier this week, when I was at one of the world's biggest aerospace events on the calendar, it's in Farnborough, I caught up with the founder of Aviation, the uh, aircraft uh, makers there, uh, Omar Barrier, and I asked if electronic, seriously, electronic planes, really, are they going to take to the skies? This is what he had to say. Actually, it is. It is, Aaron, because um, I think for the first time in a very, very long time, we can look at aviation again and talk about next revolution. You're talking about a lot of cost cutting. Well, the big leap of cost cutting is moving it to electric. And I think for the first time in a very, very long time in aviation, these are the good old days again. You can start talking about a new age of aviation. It is doable today. And, and talk of cost I mean, for airlines, we know fuel is their biggest, you know, next to staffing is their biggest cost. But we're not talking about airlines, are we? Or are, I mean, what, what, what about these planes? But is that the sort of size we're talking yeah, about? Yeah, the, the Aviation Alice, the, the aircraft we're building, is actually exactly this sort of size. We're building a nine-seater. That's going to be the first go-to-market product for us, mostly because this is what we can do with today's battery technology. And as you said, fuel is a lot for the airlines. And the question is, what's going to be the next feeder? We believe if you're electric, suddenly things that today are considered maybe business travel would be possible for the common passenger or maybe even in the beginning for the common parcel. You mentioned about current technology in battery technology. I mean, is it what, what the, you're using in planes? Is it the same as what we see in electric cars? Uh, yeah, well, basically yes, but just more of it. And one of the internal jokes, we carry roughly 960 kilowatt hours. That's 10 times Tesla's battery. Is that heavy carry. though? And oh yeah, it is. We're talking about roughly 8 point, sorry, 3.8 tons, metric tons, to carry a plane that size. So a lot of the aircraft is battery. And in reality, some of the technology that enables this is not the battery technology. It's actually the lightweight materials and the new ways to manufacture that make everything else much lighter. Mm, okay. Just beyond those two small planes is, is, a, is a big triple seven. Maybe one when? day. Maybe one day? Not maybe. <laughs> For sure one day. And the reason is very simple. The simplicity of electrical systems and the cost of energy creates a huge price advantage for maintenance costs and for energy costs. Mm -hmm. So it is coming. Mm -hmm. Airbus and Boeing is working along these lines on those behemoths. Mm -hmm. But we're going to start smaller just because this is the way to go to market faster. I think we use the expression baby steps, right? Baby exactly. steps. Uh, you, you, uh, you mentioned Airbus, you mentioned Boeing. Um, you work with some big names. You work with NASA, for example. Is that we did, uh, yeah. Has that been invaluable? I would say yes. So there are a lot of companies out there and a lot of organizations out there that are doing a lot to get the industry re-interested in, uh, in this field. Mm -hmm. NASA is there, Gamma, the General Aviation Manufacturers Association, but also huge conglomerates like Siemens, like Airbus, like Honeywell, that are looking at this and building the core capabilities to get this going. Okay, and just to wrap it up, when will we see an electric plane in the sky? And I would say the billion dollar question, right? <laughs> um, we will be flying our aircraft at the next Paris Air Show, June 2019. Next year. When can you buy a ticket though? This is what you really care about. I would estimate anything that happens before 2022, around 2021, would be an amazing feat for us. And we believe we'll see competition by then as well. So we're sprinting. E-planes are coming. That's what Wall Street is doing right now down in the doldrums. Follow me on Twitter. You can get me at BBC Aaron. Philip is back at the top of the hour on Impact. See you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Have a great day. Bye.